In the previous video, I created a control sketch which controls four planes which divide the handle area up into four quadrants and also provide planes to draw cross sections of the handle shape. To build the handle, I will start with this right hand quadrant. I've copied this sketch from my front layout. On this plane, I've drawn the cross section of the handle. On this plane, I've drawn another cross section of the handle. All I will do is make a boundary surface from this edge to this edge. Those will be direction one, and then from this sketch to this sketch will be direction two. All we have to do is make sure that this edge is set normal to profile because this will be mirrored over. The left hand side of the handle is pretty much the same situation. This curve is copied from the front layout. New cross sections are drawn on the planes here and here to create a boundary surface. These last two quadrants, the upper and lower, will be fill surfaces which have to blend seamlessly with the step here and of course with the right and left handle surfaces. Before we do that we're going to knit everything together so that this edge will begin here and end here and this edge will begin here and end here. The lower quadrant will begin with a temporary extruded surface. This is a sketch copied from the front layout. Then a fill surface is simply attached to the five edges here. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I think it's six edges. This would be the sixth edge. We control tangency at this edge, curvature here, contact here, curvature here, contact here, and curvature here. The upper quadrant is done the same way. A temporary extruded surface is made and a fill surface is constructed between the edges. Contact, I'm sorry, curvature, contact, curvature, contact, curvature, tangency. All these surfaces are knit together. Temporary bodies deleted. Fillet is now finally added to this entire perimeter. Fillet to this vertical edge. Two halves mirrored together with knitting option activated. Bottom, top, knit to solid. Split line, which is just an offset of this edge. A bottom dent. When doing the bottom dent, Make sure the continuous dome is unchecked, otherwise you'll get a dent that looks like this when you really want to have a dent with a sharp edge to it. Fill it. And here use a face fillet with constant width so that this edge will not look too wonky. If I use a standard edge fillet, I'll get something that looks more like that, which is not too pleasing. The second to the last step is simply to revolve the neck area. And then finally, we're going to do a shell excluding this top surface, one millimeter thick. And we're done.